Welcome to the first episode of 2122 Unlocked, where we do unboxings, reviews, and answer all your computer-related questions. And what better way to start off the first video than with the unboxing of this seemingly weak video card known as the AMD Radeon HD 6450. Now why am I showing you this? Well, that would be because I just bought it. Now why did I buy it? I bought it because my 5970 did not come from the factory with an HDMI output. Just a DVI. Two sets of DVI, dual link DVIs and a mini display port, which unfortunately would require me to buy an adapter to use HDMI functionality so that I can output the audio. But I didn't want to go that route. That would have cost me a little less than this card. So I thought, oh, why, just, why not buy this card? Get some extra monitors out of it while I'm at it. I got this guy at NCIX for 40 bucks. Now, that is quite a lot more than your standard mini display port to HDMI adapter, but it's got a mail-in rebate of $20, so in reality, I will be only paying $20 for this card, so I think it's well worth it for what it gives me. So this card comes with your standard VGA, HDMI, sorry, focus, and dual link DVI. It comes with, oh, no, that's wrong. It comes with 512 megabytes of DDR3 memory. Now, don't get mis, you know, Misinterpret this um, sticker here that says up to one gigabyte. Well, hyper memory is when your GPU uses your onboard system RAM to compensate for lack of VRAM. So, yeah, it isn't actually physically one gigabyte on the card. It's just 512. And then it'll use whatever available RAM is on your system. Whatever it may be. Uh, comes with so oh, five star support, fantastic. And as with any XFX card, it comes with your double limited lifetime warranty, which is always nice in case I want to give it away or something. Support for stereoscopic 3D, oh yeah. I wouldn't play a game with this card, that's for sure. I'd, the 3D Blu-ray is always a good function. It's full DirectX 11 capable. It uh, has AMD HD 3D. It's got. I'm sorry, what is that? Oh, it's Windows 7 compatible. It's HDMI, HDMI 1.4. And it has support for 7.1 HD surround sound, which is what the HDMI is for. And yeah, 512 megabytes of DDR3 video memory. Which is also nice. What's it say on the description? Get Radeon in your system. AMD Radeon HD 6400 series graphics processors deliver flawless image quality and unbelievable performance, making it the ultimate solution for enthusiast gamers. So very wrong. I would not use this card to play a single game. Perhaps maybe some Source games, such as Left 4 Dead or something but I wouldn't expect this to play at high resolutions or expect it to play anything like Battlefield or Crisis or Metro 2033. No. Uh, strictly for extra monitor support perhaps or if your current GPU, which is much stronger than this, lacks HDMI. Or if you just want an extra GPU. I don't know. If that's your, you know, well, 40 or whatever, then go right at it. So let's unbox this guy and see what comes with the standard packaging. So you got your fanless, passive, cooled GPU. And hopefully I'm expecting something to be down here. If it's just air... Then I definitely got what I paid for. Oh, no, here we go. I got an XFX, whoops, XFX card. 
support information. Okay. Oh, and a low profile backplate in case your tower does not support full size. Output connections card. I Let's see what this. Okay, gives me a list of available configurations. Oh, and it gives me a chart of all the output types and what they do and their available maximum resolutions and conversion availability. Useful. Okay. What else we got? We got XFX hardware limited warranty. Always useful in case my car decides to die for whatever reason. Quick installation guide. Driver CD. Utter garbage. You would never use this unless you had for some reason no access to the internet. Oh, this must be the actual driver CD. Okay, well, you get the picture. And their little flyer of their other products that you can buy if you so need to. Yep. Fantastic. Okay. Well, it didn't come with the little door handle thing that says gaming in progress or whatever. That would have been nice. But I suppose that's too much to ask. Oh well, whatever. No harm done. I didn't expect that much. Okay, so let's pop this little guy open. So, looks like your standard low-powered VGA. So let's get some more light on this guy. That's better. Okay, so it has a fairly large heat sink, aluminum, colored painted black, I believe. Yes. Oh, hey, look at that. Goes all the way out around to the other side to cool the memory chips. Except for two in the top but whatever oh wait those must be hold on a second it doesn't actually appear that this heat sink is actually coming into contact with the bottom oh I guess this is strictly too cool the GPU chip oh, no matter I don't expect this thing to uh overheat or anything anyway so for connections of course the VGA DVI dual link and HDMI so I'm gonna use this strictly for more monitors to reduce the load off my 5970 and for the HDMI out which I lack on the 5970 as well as for how many monitors I can use with this card whoops I would assume at minimum, it's two, but three might be possible. Mm, I'm not necessarily sure with these kind of cards, uh, but I, I can guarantee that two can be used. Three is iffy. I'll have to give that a try and experiment, see what I can get. But yeah, so that's pretty much it. Uh, I would not suggest I would not suggest to use this to play games or anything but it's perfect for an HTPC or as I said second monitor or perhaps you lack the HDMI it's also really good because since it's a 6000 series it has the support for outputting blu-ray and 3d blu-ray which, as far as I remember, the 5000 series lacks that ability. So I am adding actually some more functionality without sacrificing using my 5970 as my main card. So it adds a lot of extra functionality, which uh, lacks in the 5000 series, which is cool. So yeah, um, if you have any more questions about this card, uh, feel free to leave it in the comments. And yeah, this is the unboxing of the XFX 16, 6450. Thanks.